So if someone comes to search your house, make sure they have a warrant? Or how about if they don't? Do they have to always have a warrant? I don't know. <laughs> Tell me, Ursula. <laughs> the default position is they need a warrant. That's the default position. But then there are a host of exceptions. And actually, the exceptions have pretty much swallowed the rule. Oh. Uh, <laughs> if, if they have an arrest warrant, or um, then they can come to your house. If they don't have an arrest warrant, but the misdemeanor was committed in the presence of an officer, and they perhaps chased you to the house, then that's what's called exigent circumstances, mm -hmm. and they don't need a warrant. If they think that there is contraband in the house or evidence in the house that's going to be destroyed, and they don't have time to wait for a warrant, they don't need a warrant. So there are a host of exceptions to the, the warrant rule. And then the warrant itself, once it's obtained, they have to apply to a judicial magistrate to get that warrant, then the magistrate issues the warrant, or at least here in Knox County, uh, and then, then they can go. But then, uh, you know, that warrant has to be technically correct. Right. There are limitations to the warrant. If you get a warrant, for example, a stolen television, and you say that it's in this house. You can go in the house, you can look for places where the contraband may be. So they can't open a drawer. A stolen television is not gonna be in a drawer. <laughs> so the warrant is very specific, naming the, the item they can search for and the place that they can search.